urgent warning from one lawmaker in the event of an unthinkable is out there. So this morning we're going to go to ABC's Natasha Barrett. She is live in Houston with the very latest. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Allison. So much is happening here now. It might seem peaceful right now, but just minutes ago we had it all. Strong winds, lightning, thunder, and the rain. It's off and on as Hurricane Harvey makes himself known here in the Houston area. You know, it's a Category 1 now. It officially came on land as a Category 4. Yes, it's been downgraded, but that doesn't mean anything because we're finally seeing what it's going to do to this area. Many people are worried about flooding. There are millions of people in this area and beyond just waiting to see what happens next. Hurricane Harvey roaring onto the Gulf Coast. The best way I can describe it is a tin can being kicked down the road. The strongest in the U.S. in more than a decade. This is not anything that's going to be uh, a quick one and done. Uh, we're not measuring in inches of rain. We're measuring in feet of rain. Residents of Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana getting hit the hardest. Rockport, Texas, right in its path. Trees tossed onto roads, buildings destroyed. Emergency crews facing difficulties responding to the damage. I fear we're going we're gonna to really see some 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 severe damage. We haven't been able to get out and see what we got going, but it's not looking good. The mayor there urging those who stayed behind to write their name and social security number on their arms with a Sharpie. Residents of Corpus Christi under a voluntary evacuation order. Winds so powerful, they blew off this highway sign. It's a constant howl out there. You hear the wind, you don't really hear the rain, even though the rain's going on. Uh, but, you know, the wind's definitely going. You can hear the boards on the house shaking. Look at the, uh, the panels. Winds so fierce, they rattled the ceiling tiles at our affiliate KI. In Taft, Texas, a tree branch fell through this woman's home. The governor activating 1,300 members of the National Guard and pleading with residents who didn't evacuate to have a plan. They need to be prepared to be uh, without power uh, and maybe have uh, inadequate access uh, to food and supplies for a couple of days. All right, let's talk about damage now. We are hearing and seeing damage in the Houston area, just southwest of Houston and the suburb of Missouri City, a possible tornado touchdown. We know a roof has collapsed, lots of damage. Emergency officials there on the ground trying to assess what's happened and if anyone's been hurt. Also about three to four hours south of here near Corpus in Rockport, another roof collapse at a senior living facility. Seniors are injured and they're being transported to a county jail to get some medical attention and a tornado watch in effect for parts of Texas and Louisiana that going on well into tomorrow. For now, reporting live from Houston, Natasha Barrett for ABC 15 Arizona. Allison Nohalani, back to you. Wow, and Natasha, I mean, the, the tornadoes add insult to injury. We can yeah. already see the damage from your video, and this is no hate talking to you now. Um, can you tell us about power outages? I imagine they are yeah. far stretching. Yeah, and, and we're getting numbers and they're changing as we're talking, I'm sure. In that area southwest of Houston, I know thousands of people without power. It's just the winds coming through at this point. And then here in Houston, we're not too far from downtown. Uh, that's what people are worried about, that these winds and the rain are going to cause even more problems. And, of course, the flooding, because if you've been to Houston, anybody watching, we are low lying, we are flat, and that's what we're all concerned about. Oh, big concern and a lot of eyes over there and prayers for sure for everybody dealing with all of that. Natasha, thank you so much and stay safe out there.